At Best Reviews, we help shoppers find the best products on the market. We take popular items and put them to the test, just like you would use them at home, to see if they deliver what the manufacturer promises. This way, you have all the information you need before you buy. Today, we're trying out the Stilosa Espresso Machine from DeLonghi. The brand markets this model as an affordable, easy to use, entry-level home espresso machine with a built-in milk frother that can prepare your favorite cafe quality drinks at home, even if you don't have any espresso know-how. Here's a recap of our pros and cons. First, the pros. The DeLonghi Stilosa espresso machine is affordable and easy to use. Though it might take a few tries for a complete novice to get a good handle on the machine, it's very straightforward to set up and use and we think anyone would be comfortable using it. The taste of the espresso was nicely balanced and smooth, and making drinks was a quick process. We thought the Stilosa looks nice enough to have displayed on a kitchen countertop, and we love the minimal footprint, which is noteworthy for an espresso machine. Now the cons. Though we found the Stilosa easy to use, we had to read through the directions a few times as we were setting it up, even though the setup itself was straightforward. The machine casing is plastic, but the high shine black color and brushed metal elements give it a higher end look and we felt like the machine was sturdy. We had trouble removing the filter cups if they were misaligned, so be sure to double check this before using. While there was some noise from the machine, we've tested similar espresso makers that are louder than this one. The bottom line. The DeLonghi Stilosa is an efficient, user-friendly manual espresso machine. It's an attractive kitchen addition that doesn't take up too much countertop space, and we enjoyed the taste of the espresso drinks we made and liked that they didn't take long to make. We recommend this machine as the best bang for your buck for anyone who wants to make cafe quality espresso, lattes, or cappuccinos at home. Now, I want to show 
or to use the machine for brew two cup of espresso. But first of all, need to do some previous operation. One of these is check if the water tank have water and if don't have, refill the tank. The tank handle, we can move. Okay. In the moment we move the tank, from the valve, that is a movement part, have a spring, have a movement part, can drop a little residual water. It's not a leakage. Is usually because in here there are some residual water. We refill the tank. Remember, not pass the line of max. Then we can insert again the tank in the machine. Also, in the bottom of the machine, there are some residual water that come out when we move the tank. This residual water before put again the tank, we need to dry with a map. Because if we don't dry, we insert the tank, maybe this water move in the table. And we have the wrong idea that the machine leakage is not a leakage. Just clean the water and then insert the tank. The second thing is switch on the machine. The machine is in the uh, warm-up status. The light, blue light, slowly flash, so means the machine warm up. Then we go ahead for the preparation. Uh, we have our handle, the filter for two cup. We assemble together, match this point with the signs rotate, check if it's free to move, then we go ahead to put the powder. For espresso we need a uh, beans blend for espresso and ground uh, fine, fine grinding. Okay, so fine grinding power uh, espresso blend. We have the powder, we use two spoon for reference, the spoon is together with the machine, so two spoon for two cup. When it's ready, you need to flat the position and then the powder don't need to exceed the maximum line of the film. We check the machine. It's ready. Now the light is fixed, so we can use the machine. Assembly of flat position, rotate, full rotate to arrive in the lock position. Not to brew coffee in this way because I have two possible problems. Leakage, but more and more important, when we have a pressure for the, the brew, the handle, if it's not locked well, can come down. And this is very dangerous, okay? So, full rotate in the lock position. We put up. Rotate the knob in the coffee position and then push two shot. The machine is automatic dose, so start and then stop alone when the quantity is enough. The machine has a pre-infusion, so start stop and then really start the brew. Okay, the machine finish 
turn on, we just need to remember to put again in the little position the knob, we have our coffee. This noisy is because the machine, if have some over pressure for the temperature, through some steam and some hot water in the drink. So it's, it's correct if uh, when finished to brew have some noisy. Our espresso is ready for the drink. This is very good espresso. Dark and foam. The foam is very consistent. Okay, so it's a good espresso Italian style. About the machine, we need to remove the handle. As you can see, this is very strong, it's compact, don't have any residual water. So means that our operation about the size, quantity and temper is correct. This one we threw, washed with clean water. We use a map to clean this part to remove the residual powder.